y'all it's the 5th of june and that means 4th of july is just a few weeks away so today i'm sharing some patriotic diys using dollar tree supplies that are easy affordable and fun to make so you can be ready to celebrate on this channel i love to share easy diys and budget home decor and if we haven't met yet my name is lisa and this is our gray house take some scrap cardboard. I got mine from a package that came in the mail or maybe from something I bought. I don't even remember, but it was in my stash and I'm cutting out a popsicle shape, not a rocket pop shape, but I'm just like the regular popsicle shape. And then I'm going to use that shape as a template and I'm going to cut out two more shapes. Now for my garland, I only need three shapes because it's going across my vent hood in my kitchen. But if you need more, then cut out more. It's really so easy to do. I mean, this literally is just using recyclable material and I'm making something cute. Then I kind of measured how much, how thick I thought the white should be. And then I just like overpainted anyway. I didn't, I should have stuck with the plan because you're going to see in a second what happens, but I'm painting the middle section white and then I let it that dry and I use my heat tool to kind of help it dry along a little bit faster. And I take painter's tape and I do it across the middle. So as you can see, putting the red on, you can see the white. You can see where I overpainted on the white, same thing with the blue. So I had to go back and do several different coats, you know, add several extra coats so that it would cover it up or at least cover it up a little bit better. You can still see it though. I can still see it. So then I take that off and I'm going to use jumbo craft sticks as the handles and I'm going to flip over. Oh, I'm going to dry them real quick, but I'm going to flip these over and I'm going to use Baker's twine and as my garland, you know, what's holding the garland together and put a glob of glue down on top of that and the jumble crap sticks. And there you have it. Do some touch ups and that's it. This project actually cost me $0 because all of this came from my stash. I already had all of this stuff and you know, the cardboard, that's just scrap stuff that would have gone to the either recycle bin or trash. So there you go. Now this video is part of the five under five dollars DIY challenge. It's hosted every single month by Missy from Crafty Co DIY and Emily from Farm Charm Chic. And this month's guest host is Marla from the Chic Show DIY. And she is, um, she was actually my guest host for my playlist first Friday. So anyway, it's fun getting to know her links to their channels as well as the playlist is going to be down below. All right, let's move on to DIY number two. I'm taking a tray from Dollar Tree and I'm staining, staining it with Waverly Wax in the color Antique. The way that I do it normally is I paint it on and then I take a scrap damp piece, piece of cloth. Wow, I was trying to talk too fast. And I wipe it off. And I'm just doing the inside, you know, like lip there. And I'm doing all of the outside um, because I'm leaving the bottom of the tray. I'm not painting it because I'm going to paint it something else in just a second. Anyway, do that all over and let it dry and then take some white paint and paint that on the bottom of the tray. I'm doing this because in case you can see in between the straws that I'm fixing to lay down, you'll just see white. You won't see, you know, it'll just look like it kind of blends in better. At least that's what I thought in my mind. And then I'm taking these straws. I got them from Dollar Tree. I had to buy two packs because I needed a couple extras. So I am cutting them down to size. And the trick is to line up the red part with each other because if you don't line them up correctly, it doesn't look the same. <laughs> it doesn't look quite like the flag look that you're going for. And that's what we're going for, if you didn't know. So I cut them all down to size. I wanted them to be kind of a snug fit, but you know, if they weren't, they weren't. And then I'm taking um, some hot glue and I'll kind of adhere them down. I'm not using a whole ton of hot glue because just because I didn't need it because they were pretty snug fit. And then I am fiddling with them a lot, apparently. <laughs> Anyways, so um, you start gluing those down and then you're going to take the blue ones and those are going to be the blue, you know, little panel in the corner with the stars on it. Cut those down to size and fit everything together. Together. And I want to tell you guys, I have a group on Facebook. It's called Crafty DIYs on a Budget and it's free to join. We'd love it if you join. Share a project that you're working on. Share something that you've just completed or something like that. We are wanting to encourage and inspire you to be more creative. So anyway, now I'm just finishing it out. And like I said, as you can see, I'm lining up those that red part and that's really what makes the whole project just kind of work because then it looks like a flag, like it's blowing in the in the breeze or something like that. Finish out, you know, the little shorter ones in the end there. 
this project is so easy to do, y'all. I mean, aside from hot glue, a kid could do it and, you know, uh, you wouldn't have to worry really. You could just use regular glue. You wouldn't even have to use hot glue. But the total for this project was, z oh, 375. Oh yeah, 375. Because I had to buy two packs of the straws and then the tray. So it was 375 total. Yeah, because I had all the other supplies on hand. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, DIY number three. Got these three stars from Dollar Tree. And of course, I'm taking off that. I always hate when people leave on stickers. Just a little pet peeve of mine. Doesn't really matter if you do or don't because it's, I mean, unless you're, you know, I mean, you're not doing anything with this. So anyway, I'm just painting this. This is black, red, and I'm painting front, back, and the sides, and even the like little handle, all with the same color for this one. And yeah, I mean, it's just, that's, I'm painting. <laughs> There's not much more to say about it. Then the, the next one is going to be white. Again, same thing. Oh, by the way, this is that thick, gloopy paint that I had. It's it's done. I finished it off. I have it no more. It went into the uh, trash. So, done with that. But anyway, front, back, sides, and the handle. Paint it white. And the third one, you can take this royal, no, not royal blue, bright blue color. And same thing. Front, back, and all the sides including the handle just paint it with the paint and this is just this is so easy and i'm wearing gloves because i just got my nails done and i don't want paint you know setting on my nails too much because uh you know having my nails done is not cheap so keep in mind that you can always use gloves to save your manicure and after they're done i did some touch-ups and i used my cricut to print out the le um the words snap crackle pop and that's what I'm going to be attaching. Oh, you see me painting the handle now. That's great. Anyway, like you couldn't have figured that out for yourself, <laughs> I guess. But um, painting the handle. And then I'm going to attach the words that I cut out using my Cricut. I'm going to attach this to whatever I consider the best side of the star. And remove the paper transfer tape. Do the same with the other one. And I do the same with Snap. And then I got this little glass jar from Dollar Tree. And that's what I'm going to stick them in. And this total for this project is 375 because I needed three stars. The other stuff I already had on hand. I'm not really counting the ribbon because that's just where I'm sticking it right now. But you could use it in all kinds of decor, not just in a mason jar. All right, let's move on to DIY number, what is this? Number four. Um, the This is a little sign that I got from Dollar Tree. And I'm painting the inside with that same bright blue color. I like to paint... If I'm doing my projects, you know, together, I like them all have the same color if I can because then it just makes them look more co cohesive, makes them match. And I got some blue paint on the inside lip there, so I just went ahead and painted all the inside with that same color just to kind of, because, you know, fix my mistake, I guess. Because I didn't really want to go back and try to paint white over it and then, you know, have to mess with that. So I didn't mess with it. I just painted all, all the inside blue. Then... I took some of that flag red color and I just made little dots with one of my little stippling kind of sponge brush things and I had to go over it several times because there was like a coating on the the frame and yeah so it required me to go over it several times for it to adhere. Then I cut out this little decal with my Cricut. It says L-V-E and the O is a firecracker bursting. I think it looks like really super cute and I just I love it so um, the total for this project was a dollar 25 because again I have the paint I have the vinyl on hand and it's really hard to calculate that but if you want to recreate it assuming you have those items on hand too it's only gonna cost you a buck 25 last project DIY number five I took this um, what do you call it wreath form from Dollar Tree and I'm counting out how many of these um, clothespins I'm going to need. As you can see some of them are already painted white. So I'm painting 24 of them with the flag red color and then I'm going to paint 21 of them white and I think I painted 9 or 10, not exactly sure, 9 or 10 with that bright blue color and that's going to form, make my little flag design. Um, this turns out so stinking cute, y'all. I just really love it. But yeah, I'm just going to be painting, and I don't know why I left it. I mean, you, you get the idea of what painting is. 
Oh, I'm not exactly sure why I let this footage in here. Okay. Oh, and here we have Captain. Captain is joining us. Um, he's laying on part of the project. This was pre-cutting out popsicles, but and he kind of looks at me like, hey, I was laying there. But as you can see, I've painted them white, blue, and red, and they're ready to start assembling. I start off by putting three red together, then I put three white, and then I put three red, three white, and I go all the way around until I've used all of those two colors. And then for the last little section, man, this goes really fast when you put it in fast motion. <laughs> the last little section is gonna be blue for the area where the stars go. Then I flip it over and I was gonna hot glue it this way, and I, I did start hot gluing it this way, but yeah, it just wasn't working as good. So I was having to go individually under each clothespin and adding a little, you know, glob of hot glue. And then once I had that done, then I could kind of turn it like you see me doing here and add more glue to the back because I want it to stick. I don't want it flopping around or, or potentially falling off or anything. Then I take my white paint pen and I add little polka dots on it to rep you know, represent. So, oh, hello socks. Um, I did that to represent the stars. Oh, he's trying to get, get in mama's business. I slowed it down a little bit so that you could see socks because I always show captain, but I don't always show socks. So everybody say hi to socks. Hi socks. The total for this project was $5. I needed three packs of the clothespins that I got at Dollar Tree and I needed the wreath form also from Dollar Tree. Now I'm using, holding it up using a piece of wood, but I'm going to hang it later. Don't go anywhere. Oh wait, that looks like stop in the name okay i won't sing but i want to say thank you so much for watching today's video don't forget links are in the description box below and i really do appreciate the company while i craft and create today and if you want to follow me on social media like here on youtube we're over on instagram or on tiktok you know i do different stuff on tiktok i don't necessarily do crap so you might want to check it out but my handle in all those places is our gray house but just don't follow me in real life though because that's creepy. Bye. <laughs>